Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Ah, it is the name of Larry and Pan Kobe. Do my J. We are so happy to have you and I'm glad to see I'm anchoring this session today. I'm anchoring? No, I'm just introducing today's session. Today we are going to be talking about marriage and lust. Men, marriage and lust. What do you think about it? Do the two go together? Does marriage solve lust? Eh? Does it? A lot of people have different notions. People will come from the scriptural angle. So people will tell you, no, it doesn't. We are lustful because we are indisciplined, blah, blah, blah. And so people feel like, but suppose said that if you are lusting or you are something, 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 you should go and marry so that you don't burn. Or it's better to be married than to burn. So. Burn. Be more. No, no, no. Be burn. 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 So, guys, uh, don't look at my own on your book. She's the only book. I'm going to let me. So, welcome once again. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe right now. Before we start the program, subscribe. Subs That's the first thing. Subscribe. And then, if you find this content very insightful, make sure you like and put your comments below. Even if you don't find it insightful, please comment. If you feel something is wrong, Put that comment and share the video. Let it reach other people. Me, I'm going for a thousand subscribers. Eh? A thousand, we are like 500 plus. A thousand. So, guys, push out this content. I really know it's going to meet somebody in their place of need. Like I said, Pam Kobe. Little Tony. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Should I continue? You continue. Yeah, continue. I've done to that. Okay. <laughs> I said that was beautiful. Well done. Alright guys, so <laughs> today we're going to be talking about marriage and lust. And sorry, if you're new on this channel, my name is Grace and this is Shola. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about marriage and lust. You know, um, once again, we're going to come back to the beginning relationship. Woo! We want you to have a happy relationship, happy home and happy marriage. And yep. everything starts from the relationship you have. So. Um, we're going to start from the scripture as Christians. Um, First Corinthians 7. If you have a Bible, you can open with us and we could just listen. You read it to write it for you. <laughs> All right, so First Corinthians 7, verse um, 8 and 9. Verses 8 says, Now to the unmarried and to the widows, I say that it would be better for you to continue to live alone as I do. This was um, Paul speaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, but if you cannot restrain your desires, go ahead and marry. It is better to marry than to burn with passion. Burn. Now you see this scripture. As much as yes, um, Apostle Paul was saying some really you know tangent things and very important things. Mm -hmm. I still feel like because you're burning with passion and you're going to marry somebody, what if you not start burning with passion for another person? Does it mean you should go and marry the other person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, so um. First, I don't know, what is lost? Okay, what is lost? If we follow uh, our own book, what they have in the dictionary, mm -hmm. uh, that's just one meaning. And it simply is sexual desire for someone. Okay. That is what lost, lost is. is. Sexual desire for someone. You didn't say whether for the right person or for sexual the Sexual desire for person. anybody, Sha. Yes. It's for, lost. For anybody, for anybody at all. And so it means that if you're in a relationship, you can be lustful. If you are not in a relationship, you can be you lustful. Can be lustful. If you are married, anybody can be lustful. Yes. Okay. Yes. Some people understand the feelings, some people don't. Some people don't understand it early. Some people understand it earlier than other people. Uh, but I believe that for those who are watching this video, they have gone to biology class where they've been taught about the reproductive system or different signs of different stuff. But even as at that, it's possible you have gone through that and you're taught about that and you still don't understand the feelings in your body. So you don't know everybody understands the feeling of lust. Yeah, so not everybody understands that. So both think it's just attraction to one person or another person. Now, there are different kind of lust that we don't subscribe to that are outrightly not okay. For example, one of the major reasons why those who are not ready for marriage are advised not to go into having boyfriend, girlfriend relationship is to ensure that they don't satisfy the lust of their flesh. 
Mm. Because there's no how you are with a man or a woman and you're having a very close work or relationship with that person and you will not have some feeling of lust. You might dismiss it, you might be in denial of it and you might acknowledge it. So if you're telling yourself the truth, there is going to be yes. that lustful. Okay. There is going to be. And for somebody who is in secondary school or in primary school, what are you doing trying to fuel that desire? That's why those who are at that level who are not matured enough to commit to relationship are advised not to go into such relationship. Mm -hmm. Because the way God has built us, once you are with any gender that you are so in tune or in love with, it can trigger any emotion. It can trigger especially the lustful feeling. And going back to biology again, they told us of different things that can trigger it in anybody. So this one does not even have to do with um, whether I'm with a man as a woman or whether I'm with a woman as a man. Even a woman can trigger lustful desires in another woman. A man can trigger lustful desires in another mm -hmm. man. Can you think, okay, wait, sorry, sorry. It doesn't mean it's right. Okay, but it doesn't is, mean it's right. is that normal? It is normal. Should you trigger lustful desire in another woman? Yes, it's, okay, it's possible. For another it's possible. So right. we can handle that in another session. That one will be like I said, we are talking about biology. But yes, it is one of the things we should talk about, especially for those who are looking to get married or those who are already married and want to you know, spice up your better life. Yes. So, lustful desires is normal in every human being God created, even in animals. It's normal. But how do you undo these desires? Okay. That is what Paul Sexual was about. desires is yes. normal. Because they said um, it's lost, lost, lost desire. Lost desire sexual, sexual desires. Desire. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it's normal for everybody. Yes. So if you're having lustful desires or mm -hmm. lustful thoughts or mm -hmm. this thing, don't think yourself abnormal at all. You are still a, you are still a Christian. Yeah. You are not giving you are, see, you are not backslidden. You're not sold your soul to the devil, bro. <laughs> you don't know your soul yet. So you are still in that. You are still in the path of righteousness. Don't worry. It's not God created you to be like that. Yeah. The only thing we're saying now is how do you control these lustful desires you're having with somebody? Mm -hmm. Now, Apostle Paul gave his own, um, what do we call it now, advice. Yeah, yeah. That instead of you advice. to be having lustful desires against somebody and you know you're born with passion and all mm -hmm. of that, it's better you just go and get married to satisfy that. Yeah. But now when we talk about marriage, because of how, uh, because of the debt of marriage that mm -hmm. we understand now, yeah. I'm going to be saying that, wait, if you're getting married because of lustful desires or because of you, you know you're burning with passion you want to you want to you, know, to you want to do the truth you want to have sex with somebody what about other parts of marriage <laughs> <laughs> what about other parts of marriage yeah. like mm -hmm. um understanding your partner yeah. like um the type of food they eat, mm -hmm. your values, do they align? Yeah. So does that mean because you're born for passion, you have to just marry anybody or you also have to be strategic about that and you get mm -hmm. trying to look for somebody that is, um, how do we put it now? Somebody that has the same values mm -hmm. with you to get married to the person. Okay, so so after, you see, yeah. after you're not satisfied with sexual... What next? What like, exactly, like, yeah. what next? Mm -hmm. My wife is enjoying this session. <laughs> she doesn't want us to end it. How about? Yes, no. I'm, I'm sure. going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I will start by saying Paul is talking to those who are mature, who have reached that point where they should be married, but they can't be. They can't be married. married. And we're going to have another session where we talk about that on this channel, where we talk about the signs that show that you're ready for marriage. And sneak peek, one of the things we discussed in that video is the fact that Imperfect in different um, aspects of life does not or should not be what you are looking for as your condition for being matured enough to get married. And so, Paul is talking about first those who are unmarried, those who should you know naturally be married or they are already mature of that age, who already have contact with the opposite sex. Or with the opposite gender and would naturally have that feeling. So it's expected that at that point you should be matured enough to get into a relationship. You have the basic requirements and already there's the lustful part or there's the sexual urge and that is also one of the things people should look out for in a relationship. 
I'm sorry if you do not have any form of sexual urge for your partner at all. You can be in denial at all, but you know you don't have sexual urge. But if you don't have anyone at all, please don't go into that relationship. I will not advise it. Don't go into that marriage. Because one of the basic things that should be um, this part of the ingredients for a successful marriage is sex. And so, these people already have that requirement. You see that thing you just said? Eh? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, <laughs> I have something to say about it. So what if you're saying if you don't have sexual desire for your partner at all, at all, at all, at all, don't, don't go into it. No, what, if it's, right. what if it's an arranged marriage? And then I read something on um, on someone's status on my phone, mm -hmm. and she's okay. She caught, she screenshotted her brother's st um, st um, status, and she said something that made sense. The Bible said, M M "Love your wife." Mm -hmm. So you don't have to love her before you get married to her. Mm -hmm. After you get married to her, you your duty her. is to love her, whether you like but, it or but not. But at least one party would love her. I don't know. Arranged marriages sometimes both of them don't love themselves. So they don't even think that the, way about the, themselves. The, the, the original in marriage is this. What's original? The uh, what do you call that that they give them when people want to okay, the cheat code here. Yeah. Oh, okay. The cheat code in marriage is this. Whether you have one feeling of love or not, eh? Whether you have it or not, except you are totally disgusted with that person, eh? Every man could always have sexual desires for a woman. Everyone. Except you are totally disgusted. And if you are totally disgusted, what are you doing there? Even a raped marriage, eh, that disgust has to go down for the feeling to come up. Okay. Are you telling that people that used to walk about doing rubbish with people they cannot stay with, they cannot live with, they don't have sexual they do. Sometimes you don't even need to have someone beside you to have sexual watch. That's the way God has created us. So if you have zero shin bang, zero attraction to somebody, what are you doing there? <laughs> you hate live with somebody you hate all the rest of your life. And then I'm talking to the kind of audience that we know are not going to be in an, or in the arranged marriage. But this also works even in arranged marriage. What a lot of people don't like about arranged marriage is the fact that uh, they're just imposing somebody on me. But the truth is, a lot of times, they still have that attraction. They still have it, even if at a point they are in denial. They have it. But where they are, if they don't have it, ah, uh, am I any problem? Where there's no desire at all, you will have problem. It must be there. We get those that are saying the most important thing is that you have the same religion, which is another topic we come to, or that the most important thing is that you think psychologically. Forget that the most important thing first is that you are attracted physically. Even the Bible says that if you say you love the God you cannot see, how can you um, confirm that when you don't love the human being that you can see? Meaning that physical stuff matters. The way you behave physically, the way you work with people physically, and when it comes to marriage, the attraction matters. So, my, my say about this is not even for, uh, don't let's digress too much, it's for those who already have that feeling. You already have that feeling. What are you doing keeping that feeling? More so for those who are already in a, what we call a relationship or a courtship or a, what do you call it? Um, you are dating somebody. Engage your relationship. You once, once you're ready to commit to that relationship, why are you there for seven years, five years, four years, keeping the brother or the sister, and you guys are thinking about each other every night? Ah, Sunday, Bola, eh, Nkechi. It's okay. What are, you guys doing? what are you guys doing to yourself? Okay. You have that feeling, you have that lustful feeling. Get married. That is what I was probably saying. Once you are already mature, it's not as if you are looking for every woman on the streets. No, you already have somebody you're attracted to. Instead of burning, instead of trying to say, I want to have all the money in the world, or you want to, you know, to keep, the, let's, let's see how long we get. If you are truly mature, if, if you understand God and you have reached that point where you can look at the scriptures and read what God has said, yeah? Trust me, getting married will solve that lust. It will solve it because in love you'll be able to fulfill it and you will not, in quotes, be sinning. Like uh, Jacob and 
Potiphar's wife. Potiphar's wife was born in the local hotel. Well, that's the You see, those are actually cases. Cheese, so, cheese, cheese, cheese. so the question that we had started mm. at in the beginning is, well, like is it okay? Mm. It, or do you think that getting married is going to curb the lustful mm. desires of any human being at all? So, I get yeah. proposed points that if you, mm. Paul in the Bible, yeah. that if you get married there, if you're born with passion, at least it can, it's more like pouring water on it, it can subdue it. Mm, it's, not about, it's not even about pouring water, it's that um, you can satisfy your it needs without thinking or, about it. You can express or it. Or community it, fornication without, without or adultery. So, my own question now is is it, is it like, is it actually like that for everybody? Like, is mm -hmm. it everybody that when they get married, mm -hmm. I'm not saying they will not go with passion again, yeah. but they will have lustful desires mm. concerning somebody else. Yeah, so for anyone in that category, those who are unmarried and those who are widows, who are not desiring, not so you're desiring every single skirt or trousers on the streets, once you are married and you can express that desire in that marriage, it births the discipline. But you cannot discipline yourself outside of marriage to not have lustful desires. Forget it, you will be denying yourself, you will be lying to yourself. If you are unmarried and you're in that category of you're already engaged, that's an, even another topic for another day. At what point do you think you're married? There's no way past the to get out. Some people will start coming to talk now. But the truth is, once you're in that category of unmarried and widow, and you are having desire to one person, as long as it's not a sin, you're not, you're not lusting for somebody else's husband who are married and fulfill your desire inside your own marriage and then remove your eye from outside but it's even easy to discipline yourself when you're married in the marriage then you are not staying outside, outside you're and not you're not having that no don't say it don't say it like that when you say mm. staying outside marriage that's if you are married and you are staying mm. outside like when you are not married yeah. it's, it's more difficult to control or help you, 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 can't even, you shouldn't even satisfy because at that point yes, you yes. in your marriage you can satisfy especially if you have been true and you love yourself in that marriage thank you so much guys for watching this video is long enough already I'm sure yeah. but thank you so much for it. watching Yes, we hope you enjoyed watching this video and then please we would love to hear what you think about this topic marriage lust do you think from your own perspective your own view do you think that when you get married it actually helps you as a single person for people who are married do you, you think it, yes do you think it helps you as a single as a single person that is not married mm -hmm. and for those that are single what do you think about this do you think it can discipline some people can actually it can help some people be disciplined for those, that are close, those of you who are close to getting married and then i hope you've actually learned from this for those of you who are of the age to get married and waiting to get all the money in the world and yet you're born in with lustful desires for your partner mm -hmm. or for people and those who are not in that age just wait yes just be patient yeah, that wait, is wait. just wait be patient yeah Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and drop a comment. Please, your like is very important too, so, yeah. Thank and your you. share too, very important to me. The share is very, very important. Thank you so much for watching guys, see you on another video, Bye. same time, same station next week. Bye guys.